How's she going, everybody? And welcome to this Let's Play Random, where this time we're playing Buzzy the Knowledge Bug Junior Field Trips. Let's explore the airport. Hi, I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Welcome to the airport. This is a very busy place. People coming and going, planes landing and taking off, helicopters, seaplanes, jet airplanes, hangars. There's so much to explore at the airport, so let's get going. All right, so similarly to the previous two, which uh, there are also videos of those on my channel, you can go check them out, Jungle and Farm. Uh, this is kind of a learning, exploring game, uh, mostly based for kids. I'm not sure why, of, of all things, the airport was, was one of them. Uh, especially in 1995, I think this was when that came out. 1995, 1996, something like that. Uh, so, first, I don't think we're going to get a very accurate today's version view of an airport. I feel like things have changed quite significantly since those times. Uh, but uh, you get to hop around, explore some stuff, get to go in the plane, click on some things. Everything's, everything for the most part, I'm, I'm actually maybe everything completely probably, is actually animated. So when you click it, you get a little, oh, like Freddy Fish. Heh, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so everything, everything does something. I don't think, I don't think that's where you're supposed to, oh, that's dangerous on the airplane. Oh, we can go into the cockpit. Definitely can't do that nowadays. Oh, light bulb. Whoa, there was a rabbit in there. That's that's not safe. So anyways, you get a... What's this down here? It's kind of like the encyclopedia to, uh, of everything. So it'll tell you... Autopilot. Apparently that button is autopilot. Uh, anything that has anything kind of gets a... Well, mostly anything, I guess. I guess this control panel is not in there and stuff, but... Uh, so if you click it anyways, autopilot. <clears throat> autopilot. Autopilot. And it'll read for you if you really want to, if you don't want to read. The autopilot is an instrument that can be set by the pilot to automatically keep the plane flying in the right direction. This allows pilots to take a break from the controls and get up and stretch their legs during the flight. Then you go back, uh, explore some more. Uh, maybe not this plane. We'll just see. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This flight All the people. Oh, London. bubbles. Kick them off the plane. It's a liquid. Oversized. But, uh, yeah, everything has a... We've seen enough of this plane, I think. Let's go see something else. Like, whatever this thing is. Oh, we got bent wings. That's cool. I don't think that's how it actually works. Oh, they're painting it. Or we're arriving it or something. Cleaning it? Probably, maybe. Most likely cleaning it. Looks like a broom. I don't think we can go down there. Oopsie daisy. What is this? Uh, fuselage. Well, uh, I was trying to see if this guy was... Oh, mechanic. mechanic. That's cool, I guess. Changing yeah. out one of the turbines. Or jet engines, as called in this game. But yeah, we think we can go in. Gates. Let's see what this guy got in his bag. Oh, it's clean. That's weird. I'd question that. I'd question that luggage. I wonder if more come true. Let's see. Oh. Oh, oh, big box. Good, clean box. I don't think that's going to make it to its destination in one piece. Especially not when it jumps. Yeah, turkey's gone. They just ruined the whole turkey. So I think we can proceed through. Didn't even have to go through security. This is a very basic airport, even our local, not local, but like our small area airport has more than this airport. I'm trying to get to the back part. Oh, already left the, left the door unattended. Coffee. Oh yeah, that defying physics and everything. But anyways, oh, uh, this is... It's very questionable airplane, airport. <laughs> okay. But anyways, uh, you get the gist of it. Run around and explore the airport at your own pace. 
back ourselves all the way back. There we go. And the helicopters and seaplanes. We've got a little bit of oh a duck. Wait a minute. Oh look at him. He doesn't get a question. Oh he does get a question mark. Wow, at the <laughs> the airport encyclopedia has duck. Ducks are birds that can swim. They have webbed feet to help them swim. Anyways. If you want to learn about ducks, go to the airport apparently. So anyways, time to play. And my name's already in. And, type in your and similarly to I'll let him talk hey, first. Let's play a game. Just pick one and away we go. If you need any help, just ask me, Buzzy the knowledge bug. So as I was saying, similarly to the previous games, there are five types of games. You get a trivia, find it, coloring book, what is it, and a special kind of mini game like the anteater, feeder, and the egg basket for lost luggage. And this one's pretty good too. So we'll start here, we'll work our way around uh, with trivia. Go ahead and we'll also try hard trivia. Are you ready for some yeah. Who signals directions to the pilots from the ground? Um, probably this guy. Good one. When were airplanes invented? Uh, I remember the uh, f Microsoft Flight Simulator in 2000 something was considered 100 years of flight. This game came out in 99, 96. Definitely wasn't a thousand years ago. Definitely wasn't 50. I would say it's less than 100. Excellent. What part of the wing? What part of the wing do you raise to slow a plane down? So that's the, uh, if you hover over it, it'll read for you. Uh, that would be, what part of the wings? I thought it was like the flaps or something. Maybe they call it the spoiler. Yeah, there we go. How many passengers can ride in a Bell Jet Ranger helicopter? Definitely not a hundred. Uh, I'm gonna go with five. I have Bingo! no idea what kind of helicopter it is, but I mean, for a helicopter, it just sounds realistic. Uh, we'll do one more question after this one, so two more questions. What does the metal detector do when it detects metal? It... Trivia. Whoops. Oh, apparently you can click that. Uh, it beeps. Super. And then you get tackled by like seven people, probably. Uh, what are notebook computers powered by? Well, obviously batteries. You know this was 1995 when this is a question. But anyways. Okay. Try this one. We are going to stop playing this one. I don't like find Let's it. Well, we'll do like one do find it. We'll do it on medium. Uh, this one. Oh no, not that one. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> we'll find this because we've already been there. Uh, perfect. There we go. Congratulations. Garbage. Parking. Ah, we'll find parking. Oops. How do I get back? Oh, there we go. Uh, parking, parking, parking. Can we go this way? No. Well. Okay, it's gotta be somewhere. Oops, nope. Gotta be somewhere in here. Parking, there's a sign. Way to go! Maybe one more. Uh, maybe not one more. These look. Ex oh, well, I think I know where this is. Whoops, too far. Oh, I thought it was. Thought it was in here. Probably like in one of the planes, which is just going to be a pain to find. Oh, look there! Wait, 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 wait. Let's uh. There we go. One more. Perfect. Okay, three. That's that's way more than uh. Than I anticipated finding. Let's play. Hey. So here we are with our coloring book. Same premise as the last one. Exact same, better than all the uh, photos are airplane related. Back in the days when people were happy to fly instead of miserable because everything is now pain in the ass. So let's uh, let's see. Uh, let's call it this helicopter. You know, I'm gonna make it a nice. Whoops. 
Nice dark green. There we go. Maybe darker for the other sides. Whoops. Okay, you gotta really hit that pink. I think I'm gonna brighten her up a little. Then... For some stupid reason. Let's go with blue. Oh, I guess I can't hit those. Oh, no, they're there. This really small. So anyways, you get it. That's, uh, get the color, you can print it, and all that fun stuff. There's our nice blue sky. I guess we can make some gray. Oh, we already got gray. Paint these things. Darken up that gray a little. Some nice stormy clouds going. I was going to use this for that. And that, that's pretty much it. You can color the rest of the picture, obviously, however you want. I got a nice green blue helicopter. And his little balancy wing thing's going to be yellow. Some yellow dots. Oh, well, now it's now it's green and yellow and blue. And light purplish, bluish, grayish. But, anyways. That's coloring. Everybody knows how to color. What level do you so this is play? like the spelling one. Oh, it's not oh, the spelling one. Awesome. Because I can't spell. What is, what do you think this is? So, oh, it's, it's kind of like trivia, but you guys got to guess what the picture is. So that's, this is on hard and well it's a friggin' done. newspaper. This is a helicopter. Good job. That's a watch. I do not want to see easy. Did I? I'm not even sure. I don't even remember if I clicked hard. So, uh, go ahead. Go back and make sure. Can you tell me oh, what yeah. this well, is? Obviously, this is made for children. Well done. That is a propeller. Yep, you're doing great. I'd see how long it takes for me to get one. That oh, a parcel. But anyways. Uh, instead of guessing all these blatantly obvious things, uh, we're gonna get into this. Let's play Lost luggage. Let's see if you can get I'm already at level 26. Uh, cause I, I, I came on and I you, played this. But this Stop talking, Buzzy. So, uh, basically this is uh, one of the harder, well, not really harder, levels, cause... That's all you gotta do. You gotta twist the machines, or the conveyors, to get the proper luggage to fall into the proper case, and I, that was level 26. So, uh, that was pretty simple, but it's even simpler beforehand, so there's no point in going, reverting back to the simple levels. Now, these things here, these ones are auto hits. These ones here, if you turn them on, they will hit the luggage when it passes. So, again, really simple level. I don't, I don't even know, I'm not even sure how many levels there are. So here, okay, we're stuck because our conveyor belt's going that way. So you got, you got a chance to kind of think it over. So basically, we're going to flip that. This thing here goes back and forth. If I turn that on and I turn this this way, as soon as that luggage passes, because the, the silver thing, it just kind of goes, right? It, it, there's no track or nothing. It just goes whatever direction. But in, in later levels, there's going to be multiple luggages. There's gonna be ways that it could fall off the track, and that'll that'll cost you your luggage. Oh, this is an interesting one. Okay, so I guess you just kind of gotta be a little speedy with it. Let's uh, see who's coming around next. There, green guy's coming. Oh no! Oh oh oh! This is not good. Oh, perfect. I guess that's what they're there for. And there we go. That was mildly more challenging, but still pretty obvious. So let's see. We gotta hit this. Gotta hit this. And the rest should pretty much do itself. 
Oh, you can speed it up, too. So you got, this is normal pace. Once you got it all figured out, you can hit the rabbit. It goes, like, triple speed. So where are we at here? Okay, we're coming around. Coming all the way around. We go, well, that's it. That was a very unnecessarily long belt for absolutely nothing. Oh, okay, let's switch. Now, once that gets off, we'll just save ourselves some time. Bam. I'm hoping it gets more challenging. We'll go to level 35. Once we complete level 35, that'll be the end. So, again, pretty straightforward. The only difference here is that when this comes out, it's going to bounce off this. So, she tucks in. And complete. So where are we at here? Okay, we're up there. We're coming out the star. Oh, no. Okay, going into circle. There's two circles though, so you don't really know which one you're coming out of. That should... Okay, between this, once it, like... There we go, and then that should go, and it should be done. It's kind of just a matter of waiting for it to come out the right port, because the circles match up kind of thing. I don't know if you've seen that, but... So these pink ones, you can't turn. So you have to... work with whatever direction they're pointed in. So, uh, how are we going to get this now? I think basically it's just got to come out where, again, we just got to wait for it to come out in the direction I want it to come out in. Like that. So it's not much skill. That was level 35. I said we were going to level 35, so we'll do this one because there's a lot of luggage. These ones are kind of hard, so there's a potential for failure on these ones. Although the potential for failure is very small when you are just paying attention. But anyways, that's lost luggage, and this is Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. We're going to stop her here. Oh, see? Oh, wait. Oh, go back. This is one of the ones where it can actually fall off, so just for the hell of it, I'm going to make it fall off. And then it's like, oh, you lose. You suck. Everything's over. But anyways, while we're here, I'll just complete this one. Oops. Still very, very simple, very common sense. The, the best of all these three series, uh, games in the series, the best one, by far, is uh, the Anteater Feeder, which is on Ready to the, play uh, another stop game? Talking. Stop all you gotta talking. Do is pick oh, we can't, one. we can't, we can't. But yeah, the Anteater Feeder from uh, Let's Play the Jungle is by far the best one for uh, all of these games. Uh, the egg one is kind of from the fire and was kind of slow, I find, and this one here is pretty simple, but either way, great games, uh, great old child-related games, uh, even to this day, aside from this one, this one's probably the oddball out, but for, for learning and uh, stuff, even even me, like usually every time I play through this still, I, I usually learn something. Let's go learn something right now, but uh, it's great for kids, get around, explore, jungle, the farm, all that stuff, airport, like I say, I don't know what... Uh, what kind of necessity learning about an airport is, especially a 1995 airport, which is uh, 20 years ago, 21, 22 years ago. So, uh, but regardless, if you want to learn about your airport or teach kids about the airport, Buzzy Knowledge Bug, place to go. So let's learn something about uh, view screen. The view screen or monitor lets the security person check baggage as it travels through the x-ray machine. He or she can see what's in each bag by watching the screen. I didn't really learn anything there, but... Oh, pills. Bad. More pills. More pills. Lots of pills. I don't know what this one's for. This is a security camera, I guess. But anyways. There we have it. All kinds of fun stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it, uh, you go back and check out the jungle and the uh, farm. The relevant ones. This one was just... I said, ah, oh, why not? I might as well do it. It's there. So I done her. And, uh, yeah. Jungle. Airport. Same channel. Back out. Let's play random playlist. They're in there somewhere. Just click all videos. You should be able to find them. But anyways, thank you for watching this. Uh, please don't use any information you retain from this video at your actual experience at the airport. Because it may vary. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Be good, everyone.
ไป